Welcome back to Court Farm. We're in January 3. We've got the time sped up slightly because... <laughs> would save now, wouldn't it? Um, I want to get as much of the pork processed um, as possible because it is a rather good price at the minute. But before we skip into February, what I want to do is find the right menu... And we are going to pay a chunk off of the loan. So I reckon we can do... Let's do... Get in the right box. There we go. We'll do £100,000 to start with. There we go. Lovely. So we're down to one hundred and fifteen grand, But we're going to make a significant amount off of the pork. So I'm going to sleep. We'll get as much process as we can. We'll spawn the pallets and then we'll go and sell it. So into the 1st of Feb. And if we take a look, the animals are okay for feed at the moment. But what we are most concerned with is we've got 11,000 litres of pork meat. And there's still quite a bit left. To process so that is chugging away nicely so i'm okay with that so if we go to here and click spawn items pallets of five thousand liters three pallets what does this do there we go uh yeah so we can spawn okay just big pallets marvelous have a look Aha, there they are. <laughs> Quite like the look of them. Like PG, I think. Right, we'll get these loaded up and we'll head down to... Where are we going to go? The garden centre. And that should get us £291,000. <laughs> Marvellous. Right, let's get loaded up and I'll see you down there. So pulling up to the garden centre and with any luck, yes, look at the money go. Wow. <laughs> that is epic. <laughs> 300 and let's call it 330 grand ish. So, what we need to do now is, again, pay off some more of the loans. So, ooh, we could pay it all off. How cool is that? Let's do that. So, we've got 316150, and that will pay it all off. And we've still got 110 grand. How cool is that? So now the plan is to let me just double check because obviously they're new. Haha. <laughs> the plan is to plant red beets or beetroot in field number 19, I think. Small ish field, so should be relatively manageable with the kit that comes with the dlc so what we need to do is get through to april <laughs> so that is going to involve one quite a bit of feeding and potentially some moving of um pigs to the butchers but uh, yes that is my plan um not sure how long it's going to take but uh, yeah we better crack on and uh, start advancing the time we don't need to worry about any loan payments now which is fantastic i'm so chuffed with that um so yeah we'll head back to the farm we will top up the pig's food um either using what we've got in our stock or by the farm supply pack we'll keep the ducks looked after as well now i did say 
in the last episode about um I need to think where we want to go now we want to be going where are we we are there um i think right is probably the best option um transporting of ducks and neil very kindly um pointed me in the direction of a mod now i've installed the mod i don't think i've actually enabled it which is a bit of a noob mistake um but yeah i might quit and load it in we'll see anyway right let's get this back to the farm and start skipping through the months welcome to april and i can officially say i'm fed up with feeding animals um wow that was a mammoth task um, to say the least but one good thing um i've been out of the game and loaded up the uh mac trucker uh animal transport mod so we can now move the ducks about so what i've been doing is shifted i've done two loads already now they were three month old ducks uh so we can go for these ones we'll get as many of those as we can there we go and the next ones need to be these ones. How many of you is the ten? Fine. And then let's have a look down here. Twelve months. Twelve months. Let's find one with a reasonable amount. I don't want to take all of the ones that are going to reproduce, but we've still got quite a lot. So, I would pick the one with only one, wouldn't I? Let's go for... Why is there no more? Maybe they're all ducklings now. Okay, it's probably all right, actually. Another 62 to add to the 100 and something that we've got up there already. So... We will go now and deliver these, and then we'll activate the uh, duck meat production. So same process applies. We pull into the trigger, we press R, and we transfer the animals. So let's go into our production. So the eggs have finished being processed, so we can deactivate that. We go to duck meat. We've got 3,154 kilograms. So we'll activate that one. So we've got another 5,000 litres of pork meat. Now I think the only peak is... Mind you, that's not bad. We'll keep an eye on that, I think. But we will yes we're going to do that we'll keep an eye on it we won't do anything now because i really want to get into using some of the new dlc kit and getting some red beets planted now when i did skip into april i did check the contracts and something odd was going on ignore the tire tracks cut in the corner <laughs> who would drive like that off camera uh -huh. um yeah they were literally there was loads loads appeared um parsnips carrots red beet um amongst all the other crops as well but um they seemed to disappear quite quickly even with lazy farmers turned on and that looks like a field of something whoa say what we need to do slow down the speed there we go jump the hedge and this is oh it's cotton oh yes. <laughs> for some reason i thought it was carrots close enough cotton carrots so um yeah whether that's just a a thing or not i don't know let's have a quick look to see so you can see there's so many fur contracts bailing is appearing again which is good because you know money um so we've got parsnips corn carrots sorghum 
sorghum and soybeans okay and lots of weeding ones um now i am well aware we have got quite a few fields to plant um which we are going to get to don't worry um but yeah i want to want to use the new kit i want to do some ridging we'll do some planting all that cool new stuff hopefully we won't have any issues um from what I've, I've watched a little bit um of content over the weekend nice wide swing can we get round just about so we'll put this one over here somewhere i think just because then it's out the way and we know which one is which because I'm a noob and I didn't uh, think about seeing even trying to change the uh, cover colour so we'll drop that there we will get out of the pen and close the gate um, what was I saying then completely lost my train of thought oh new crops so I've watched a bit of um fsg's look at um I don't which video it was it was the one where he was doing ridging and planting red beets i think um and that's about it i've heard pe different people having different issues with precision farming and game crashes and all that lot but so far i mean i haven't used it but you'd think if it was going to do anything i would start to see signs of uh it messing around now so field 19 is going to be red beets so let's just have a look and now i'm faffing but i want to see if we can yeah there you go look wowzers field 90 red beets that's a lovely uh magenta color isn't it carrots we've got any carrots gone in yeah a couple of fields of carrots any parsnips yeah Big old fields planted. Goodness me. Um, yes, so, right. Lettuce. No, not lettuce. Red beet. <laughs> so, we need to set ourselves a store point. We need to go into the right menu. Premium expansion. Got one of those already. Uh, now, these mowers do look rather nice they could be good on a different save so what do we need we need a ridger so we are going to go three meters or six meters 270 horsepower wowzers um i think we're going to go with that one we'll customize it now the three point one assumes lets you attach the cedar on the back as well or the planter on the back as well but we are going to do it for the sake of this just on its own we are not buying it we are going to just lease it and then we also want so we've got three meters there we want this one do we yes and we will lease that let's just it doesn't have a combinations button there isn't a front thing is there that we can put more seed in and it links no no okay right so oh dear so much for looking after the uh, least equipment right this is going to be our ridging tractor so we'll get hooked up we will just set ourselves a nice straight gps line and uh, yeah we'll see how we get on Attach that. Looks like a nasty piece of kit. Right. Loud tractor alert. There we go. So, 
Oh, no. <laughs> uh -huh. There. Right, let's get in. We want to be 90 degrees ish. That'll do. Clear that one, go for that. And set the width. We will move it over to the edge of the field. We'll pull forward to get on the line. Back her up. Now I assume it needs turning on. Yep. Yeah. Lower it down. Hit cruise control. <laughs> and off we go. So my only... It's not a gripe because I quite like... Well, let's start that again. I love the DLC. End of thing. It's really cool. New crops, etc, etc. But what is slightly bugging me is if we pull forward and lower down... It's going to work now, look. I mean, that is... We, we're doing... We're not in the centre of the ridge. And I'm set to 90 degrees. So... Yeah, mildly annoying, but from the right angle, like that, <laughs> it looks fine. Um, be interesting to see how the sides look, where you have to sort of drive at an angle. I'm guessing it's going to be like when you do potatoes, um, and it's just going to follow a, the uh, whichever way the terrain, terrain angle, is it? Um, is set but yeah I get, it's one of those where it's almost a, not a learning process I'm just guessing that you would do the centre of the field first and then work a headland as you would normally I suppose um, it's not taking overly long runs at what we're doing 8 yeah 8 mile an hour so and like I say, not a massive field, probably about the right size. Um, got the old planter there, we'll probably stick that on the John Deere, just for a bit of a, you know, a bit of a change. Um, only holds 16 litres, so it'd be interesting to see how far it goes. Um, we might need to bring a bag of seed across and park that on the edge of the field. But, um... Yeah, so far, so good. Um, not having, say, any issues with anything not working how it should. Um, yeah, quite pleased with it, really. Um, and it's rather opportune, and it, I hadn't actually planned um, that we would put um, a root crop in. But, you know, we'd planned that we got enough in the form of the beets but you know we can always look to you know purchase more land if we need to you know now we've paid off the loan we could always take a slightly smaller one for some land maybe there's contracts we've got pork meat we could sell we're gonna have duck meat um yeah i'm pleased with where we are and the progress that is being made. So, what I might try, and I don't know how it will work, so we'll give it a whirl, is what will this do if we were to stick it on a worker? So, let's just get lined up, turn off, and hit H. There we go. Seems alright. So we can now jump out, grab the John Deere, grab the planter, get it filled up, and uh, we'll start putting red beets in. Well, I would have showed you it filling up, but it happened in the split in the split of an eye. In the blink of an eye, split second, there you go. Uh, right, so we can close the little hoppers. <laughs> there we go. I mean the, the John Deere is probably overkill. <laughs> Look at the state of it. 
on the back. Oh dear. Um, but yeah, needs must. We have. We could have used the uh, the JCB, but hey, never mind. Right. So let us squeeze through. How's that doing? It's actually doing a very nice job. Uh, right. So clear any courses we've got. We want to be. Uh, what's that showing? 90 degrees. We will set the width and jobs are good done. So on the second pass now, I just wanted to do the first one just to make sure uh, everything was working and I was doing it right. Um, I am leaving probably a little bit more than I need to at the ends um, just because we are going to have to tidy up um, the bits that the worker hasn't done because the worker manages to get right to the edge um, but yeah that's fine um, so if we just stick on the old GPS and you'll see it's going in I do like that colour, it's very vibrant um, worker is cracking on, no issues at all um, yeah and it just it's working and you can see the texture change which I don't know if the pH is okay nitrogen I'm guessing it's just to show you where you've been rather than it actually um, putting anything down so to speak so we'll stop there probably in hindsight should have um <laughs> you know waited until all the ridging was complete but i'm impatient it's new toys to play with so yeah i'll have to do a bit of tidying up but it's very very cool i like it i want to try and make sure that we're not putting it into anywhere that hasn't got a ridge because at least we'll be able to see sort of where we've been properly. Is the worker going to be able to work out how to turn? Or did we miss the worker complete notification when we were in the uh, looking at the precision farming menu? I think we probably did. So what we'll do is we will leave that there turn it off and just shut down the old John Deere we will rescue the Fiat out of the hedge <laughs> um, there we go we'll finish off the ridging get that done um, this side and the headlands and then we can just crack on and uh, finish off the uh, planting of the beetroot so I've refilled and uh, we're already I'm not burning through the seed but it's getting used up rather quickly. I think it's probably um, accentuated, that's a big word isn't it? Um, by the fact that it's a very very small um, hopper or, the very, or they are very small hoppers should I say but it's um, it's quite therapeutic this i have to say um and it you know we've got three meter working width it doesn't seem to be taking that long um did tidy up i'll say tidy up that end is probably tidier than this end um and as i suspected it's sort of every 90 degrees i guess you'd say for the ridges which Hey, I'm not knocking it, it's fine. I'm just saying that's how it is. So it's difficult to make it look 100% neat, but um, I'm sure we can uh, live with that. Now, I should say that um, after being not badgered or coerced, but 
cold, effectively. I need to pull my finger out and get the bail bunker um, pack updated. So I've made a start. When I say I've made a start, I've done the i3d work for the beetroot um, one. And it is actually, <laughs> you know, you'll hear people say, well, it's red beet, beetroot. It is actually called beetroot. When you look at the different textures and the sort of, I can't remember all three, is it normal, diffuse and specular that go in to make a texture, it's actually called beetroot. Um, so, yeah, calling it beetroot is not wrong. Um, yeah. So, yes, what was I saying? I have, yeah, I've done the I3D work um, for the beetroot. Um, I need to, I'm probably going to do it try and do it all as I go along but that makes no sense at all what I mean by that is um, I've done the sort of graphical work now I'll do, need to do the XML work for the beetroot and then we'll do parsnips complete that one and then the carrots um, so yeah and then obviously get it off the giants once it's had a bit of a test um, so yeah I am in the process of doing it um, and hopefully I think because there was some issues with was it tipping to ground can't remember Disturbed was doing some level of testing I can't remember exactly what it was um, but I think if it's going into a silo then that should be ooh, meant to go backwards should be fine um so yes i am on with it and i will be as quick as i can um but recording has to come first so it's evenings trying to fit it in around work and being um absolutely shattered this week i don't know why just yeah one of those things so yes it is in progress um and yeah hopefully get it done and submitted as soon as possible so just finishing up the bottom end of the field and then we're gonna just start to turn and then just need to lift ever so slightly and get that little bit that was missed there quite like the fact that it does the old uh, darker colour so you can actually see where you've been otherwise I think it'd be an absolute blooming nightmare so yeah I like the logic of that so, I've, uh, I'm, I don't think it does anything for fertiliser it looks like it's putting fertiliser down but I mean have we spread it? Did we spread on this? We did, didn't we? So, yeah, that's all that's down. There's nothing else sort of going in, is there? But yeah, I, I do generally think that it's just for the fake, for the fake, for the sake of being able to see where you have been. Although in the shade, it's rather interesting. Let's sort of try and work out where I reckon about here. Now clearly as well we're going across the ridges so there's always going to be a little bit of a mess but not too shabby. Let's take a look at the mini map. That's fine. There's a couple of bits on the edge here but again you can see them so it does make it easier. Right for a bit there yeah the other thing as well is and this might sound blatantly obvious um but you don't need to roll it, it doesn't even you know i think because with potatoes it gave a uh needs rolling um show you shall i can't get me words out so needs rolling for potatoes it would show that but obviously 
obviously, maybe not obviously, I'm showing you, <laughs> that, um, yeah, for the least, well, I'm assuming it's the same for carrots and for parsnips, but definitely red beets, you don't need to roll. I'm guessing that that is something that they've embedded into the new crops. And I wish they'd kind of do it for potatoes. Um, but, uh, yeah, can't have everything, can we? So, I reckon two passes should do this. There we go. Put that there. Lower it down. Uh, and while we do these last two, I want to say thank you very much to the YouTube channel members and the patrons. You are amazing. Um, really does mean a lot and it's very very cool thank you so much there we go lift up use the gateway to turn around oh not quite there we go can we get in without smacking the post we can get that spun round and lower down and there we go and we've used I think I've filled up three times so what's that 16 32 at max 48 litres you know so for the input that's pretty cool obviously we need to fertilise it at some point um, but yeah I am <laughs> I'm loving it. It's really cool. Um, it's actually, yeah, like I said before, worked out really well that we got the spare field, um, that we hadn't got anything assigned to plant or seed into it. Um, so, yeah, gone with the old red beets. Growth stage one of four. So they will be ready to harvest in doo -doo 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 -doo, August to end of November. So, jobs are good and so next episode we need to then look at the rest of our fields that need some attention so we've got 20 18 and 42 i think that's all the land we own isn't it it is everything else has got something in it which is good um yeah and you know we're loan free as free as the wind blows is that what it is can't think of the lyrics um yeah loan free um trying new crops and we we can uh obviously we've got the duck meat going as well so yeah quite cool really really have like liked being able to use the new kit from the dlc overall i think it's a nine out of ten from me um you know i think it's works well um variety of the width of the kits we could have gone bigger could have gone six meters um but it takes a lot of horsepower um so yeah all good thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have leave a like and i'll catch you in the next one take care